Hey guys, it's Brandon from C Inside 360. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create an action so that you only have to press one button in order to remove the tripod from your photo. Then we're going to create a batch so that we can do an entire folder full of them automatically. So, let's get started. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to have any other photo opened up. So I've just got this logo. We're not going to actually use this logo. I'm going to go into my folder here with the, this is my folder of all the original photos. I want to remove the tripod from all of these. But first we're going to have to set up an action and then we'll set up the batch. So how we're going to set up an action is we're going to right click on the first one here. We're going to open it with Photoshop. Now we need to set up an action. Later we'll be able to set up a batch where we can automate this action, but first we need to set an action. So we're going to go up here to Window, and then we're going to go down to Actions, and we're going to open the Actions panel, which is right here. With uh, the Action panel, you can create a uh, an action. So we're going to create an action. We're going to hit the little plus sign right here. We're going to create a new one and we're going to call it Remove Tripod. And then we're going to hit record and it will record the steps that we're going to do here. So follow along with these steps. We're going to hit record. The first thing you do is go to 3D and you go to Spherical Panorama new panorama layer from selected layer that'll turn it into a 360 that you can you can view we're gonna go down to to our tripod we're gonna make sure we're all the way down as far as we can then we're gonna go over here to the elliptical tool and we're gonna right click on it and make sure that we have the round one selected and we're gonna make a a little elliptical around the tripod that we want to remove and we're going to go to edit we're going to go to fill we're going to make sure content aware color adaptation normal and 100 percent are selected and we're going to click ok that'll then boom remove remove that now we want to convert it back into a normal image so we're going to select the spherical layer here we're going to double click on that now it's back to a normal layer let's adjust this here so we can see what we're doing here you can see that it's it's creating the action here and it's keeping track of every step that we're doing so we've created the layer now we're gonna file save as and then we're gonna put it into the tripod removed folder here and it doesn't matter what we name it and we're going to go down to the JPEG the first one in the list select that and then we're going to click save and we're going to maximum progressive OK so now it's saved it now we got to do two more steps this is the reason why we opened the first image because we don't want a Photoshop to close on us now because we're gonna we're gonna close this one and then we're gonna close this original one here we're going to say no to the saving. Now we've created an action that can repeat itself. So we're going to go over here to the, the stop button and we're going to click stop. So now we've created this, re, uh, this action. And now I'm going to show you that it's created it right here. It's, and it's removed the uh, the tripod. You can't see it down here at the bottom in the bottom little area there. So I'm going to delete this because we're going to do do this over now. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to go back here to Photoshop, and uh, we're going to do the batch now. We're going to go to File, Automate, Batch. Then we're going to select the action that we want, which is the one we just made, the remove tripod. Then we're going to select the folder that we want to take them from. So we're going to choose the folder, which is the originals here. We're going to select that. 
Then we're going to choose the, full, the output folder. Same deal. We're going to put them in the tripods remove folder. We're going to select that folder. Then we're going to give them a name. So in this first line here, in this first line here, we're going to name it whatever we want to name it. So I'm going to go with tripod removed space squiggly little line and then a space. Then in the next thing we're going to select uh, what we want to the want to go after that and I'm going to go with the one digit serial number so it'll name them tripod removed one tripod removed two and so on and then finally we want to add the extension which in this case will be JPEG and then it wants to know where we're going to start at one let's say we were doing a couple separate batches and we'd already done the first 50 we could set it to start at 51 or something like that for example but now uh, it's going to, I'm going to click OK and it'll run through the whole folder automatically And as you can see, if we go to the tripod remove folder, it's creating them and saving them in this folder. It's removing the tripod so that there's no longer a tripod in there. And that's how you do it.